Rack him. Frag him, webcam. Seriously, man. A sonic screwdriver. What type of nerd owns one of those? Coming up on this Linux Gamecast Weekly. Open more win adds initial AI framework. Linux users pay for games. Vessel is almost ready. In introducing Return to Castle Rufenstein Co-op. Let's go. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers news for Linux gaming, reviews for Linux gaming, and basically whatever the hell we come up with. With and coming to us live from our Canadian satellite office, the most patient man in podcasting, Jordan. The Help, sea. the rabid beavers are at my door. Hello, rabid beaver. Can we call you rabbit? Rabbit? How about rabbit? Rabbit beaver. No. No, no. I, I like rabbit that's, beaver. That's, that's terrible. That's absolutely horrible. You should feel bad about that. You know what? I, 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 I want the rabid beavers to break down my door and then eat me alive. You know what? Yeah. How about two angry beavers? Oh, I remember that show from Nickelodeon. Yeah. Uh, that was a show ahead had... of its time. It really was, but let's go ahead and jump into a couple of things. One thing I want to talk about before we even get started is non-disclosure agreements. Have you ever signed an NDA? Ah, yes. Good old NDAs. Yeah. Well, I messed up and signed an NDA, and gather this. Never expires. Now, I've signed plenty of NDAs um, since I've been doing Linux Gamecast. I mean, there's some fun stuff. And I'm cool about it. I don't talk about it. Uh, but it does expire. Then I can go, bam, here's all the fun stuff. This one never expires. Uh, Have you ever had one of those? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've had NDAs that don't expire. It's stupid, but, I mean, whatever. You've signed the piece of paper. It's, yeah. There's nothing much you can do at that point. It's kind of where I'm at at this point. And eh, there's nothing you can do, but, hey... Their loss, I could have um, really shown some cool stuff, but they want to wait just a little bit longer. So, what do we always start out with on Linux Gamecast Weekly? Um, we usually start off with varying topics, I think. Yeah. But this is, news we, we, is usually, always... we usually discuss something that's happened over the past week that we've experimented with. So, what have you experimented with this week? Oh, well, I'm trying to get FFmpeg... Not FFmpeg, sorry. I'm trying to get XVMC compiled under Fedora for the Raspberry Pi so that there can be a Fedora-based XVMC distribution for the Pi. How does that work with the Codex, though? Because I know the Codex are not compiled for ARM. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Lucky for me, the guys at RPM Fusion are impeccable with their spec files, so I have to do very little work. Mm -hmm. So how far away are we from having XBMC up and running on our Raspberry Pis? Uh, well, you can already have that, but on Fedora specifically, I have a library issue I need to sort out. But other than that, I think relatively soon, I should eventually blog about it at some point. Do you have a blog? I do have a blog. I've never brought it up in the show. Oh, what? Because it's required for my work, and I don't really advertise it. Uh, is that something you'd want to share? Oh, uh, uh, sure. If you want to read my blog, that's fine. Yeah, where is that? I, oh, uh, that's at root to the head at blogs, or dot blogspot.com. Root to the head dot blogspot.com. Root to the head. That's Two T's. cool. But you did get a chance to play around with FFmpeg, yeah. I did. I I had to I had to dive into your little realm of madness there to extract some Raj two six four from uh, some Blender Foundation videos as well. So do but, you have some minor appreciation with all the technical issues we have. What the hell is wrong with that command? Seriously, <laughs> that is that is pretty messed up. I'm not gonna lie. 
It, it does its thing. There's also AV Convert, and it, that's basically one of the things I'm working with right now, is trying to get um, two chicks at the same time with um, FFmpeg and AV Convert to work nicely together, and it's... Mm. It's its own thing, man. It's its own beast. Right. So I heard you had some interesting browser stories, though. Well, you know, I wouldn't say browser stories. I mean, this is mainly your fault. We're talking about, uh, if we switch over to uh, something you brought up. And you said that Mozilla is working really good on Android, right? Yeah. And that's something I took note of, and I, I took the Pepsi challenge. And I've and been using Firefox on my Arcos tablet for about the past two weeks, and I like it. Yeah, I told you, they did a good job. Uh, it does play Flash, that's something that Chrome doesn't do. That, that's a big plus right there. And it automatically blocks Flash. Before Which we... is also a plus. Yeah. But here's one question. Yeah. When you start Flash, mm -hmm. all the Flash on the page plays. Does it? Yeah, mm -hmm. unfortunately. All... But that's very common. If you're familiar with the uh, Dolphin Browser Mini, mm. it does the same thing to consume resources. Consume. Mm -hmm. Conserve. Conserve. Consume. With Flash... It's the same. Yes, battery go away. Yeah. But I like it. Honestly, um, resizing is faster. Scrolling is not as smooth, though. That's one thing mm. I did notice. And what are you running on your Android device? Uh, I have both Chrome and Firefox. So I switch between the two of them mm. quite often. And, yeah... I think what it comes I, down to the, is different tools for different jobs, though, right? Yeah, like, if I want to watch anything Flash, I'm going to be on Firefox. And uh, that works pretty well. And for regular browsing, uh, Chrome's pretty good, but, yeah. Right. I think on. I would start switching back over to Firefox. Desktop Chrome has started to let me down a bit. Hmm. See, I've had the opposite experience with um, desktop. I love the bookmark syncing feature, but I know Firefox does a similar process, right? Yeah. Uh, they ha they have a really nice feature where you can, if you have tabs open on multiple locations, you can grab tabs from other locations, mm. which is super handy. Yeah, that does sound really neat, man. And it's, it's cross-platform, too, so if it's on your tablet or on your phone... Or on like one of six computers, you're good. And indeed, I am not a convert to um, Foxfire, but it is definitely now in my arsenal of um, browsers that I use. It's it's certainly better on my laptop battery. I'll give I'll give it that. Yeah, still impressed by it. Good work. I mean, good work, guys. I'm um, working on the mobile side at uh, the Mozilla Foundation. Mm hmm. So. But let's get into our Linux gaming news. And that Linux always starts gaming. out with one thing. Steam Linux update of the week. Ooh. Eek, 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 eek. No, but seriously, it does. And our Steam is steamforlinux.com. It's a website that is kind of dedicated to... Steam for Linux. Not as much as the name would imply, though. Now, I feel you on that. I mean, if we're looking at it right now, we have Ubuntu App Charts for August, Humble Indie Bundle 6 is presented, uh, latest Linux games, but then we get down to early last month, um, Steam games on Steam Greenlight. That's cool. Something to watch out for. I mean, it's not Sage, and I mean, it's a fan site. Uh, mm -hmm. Might be good for updates. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. But. There's no such thing as too little coverage, so. Well, on that too little coverage, we have to go to OMG and Ubuntu. OM. What's that stand for? Oh my god. Ubuntu. Um, <laughs> that would hurt people. 
Yeah. But what we have is Steam for Linux to arrive. In a few days, uh, Steam's run the on article, Linux. The article is not is from more than a few days ago, so that's more than a few days. October first, actually. Yeah, and it's saying basically what we all know. Uh, it's it's not a secret, and the beta is going to be rolling out this month to a select few. Well, one thousand Linux users. Um, mm -hmm. I think it'd be kind of cool to be on that list. Indeed, indeed, it's 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 a veritable golden ticket. Ah, uh, golden ticket. But it won't be an everlasting gobstopper. But I think some of the um, controversy is what game will we get? Will it be Portal or Left 4 Dead 2? My money's still behind Left 4 Dead. I think that's the best overall test of. The source engine's capabilities on a platform. Hmm. On one hand, I want to agree with you. On the other hand, I'm thinking, uh, well, they have already given away Portal. So it's kind of a free thing, and maybe they don't want to... You know what? I'm, I'm thinking they might do a Steam for Linux free giveaway for Left 4 Dead to get people on the multiplayer bandwagon. Or definitely at least Team Fortress 2 once that gets ported over. Well, of course, Team Fortress 2 is already free. Never mind. I'm smoking crack. Don't smoke crack. It's bad for you. Crack is whack. Crack is whack, people. Don't do not do it. But let's rock on with that, man. Um, Changelog, have you ever played this game? It's called Heroes of New Earth. I have, and... Wow, really? I suck at it. <laughs> But Han is pretty rough for anyone. Well, I, one of the biggest issues I had with it, and issues, I mean, just a stark reality of playing this, is getting into, like, a newbie game and not there, really knowing... There is not a... Lear their learning curve is a brick wall. It's a brick wall, and it's uh, in, like, the basic level matchmaking. And I'm asking, so how do we do this? And they're like, oh, you shouldn't be in beginners. This is not the place for beginners. Yeah, no. It is not. I learned that really quickly. It, oh, um, man. I think is legendary for having... Uh, it's it's pretty hardcore. ...a user it, community it, worse it, it, than that written. of 13-year-olds on Battlefield 3 on the Xbox. There is a reason LOL was a lot more successful than Mahan. Just because LOL had a, actually had a learning curve. As opposed to Han that had, you know, run into a brick wall and then get better. No, it's basically dodge. That that That's the learning curve. Hmm. Anyway, which I completely and, agree with you 100%. Um, version 2622 is out, and I think the big thing is, is Mac and Linux performance has been improved greatly uh, and on top of that the Linux is 50% faster yes faster is better and they've also added um, Heroes of New Earth TV and brought the OpenGL render features in line with the DirectX render but as we said earlier I don't think they fixed the community quite yet mm. still a fun game glad to see um those guys, I mean, it's a native port. Yeah, they they actually take their Linux support seriously. I do appreciate that. Yeah, I think that's pretty solid of them. But since we're talking about heroes and... Heroes. Epic Heroes, things, might, and or magic. What about Open Morrowind? Did you ever play like me some Morrowind? Morrowind? Oh, man. That is a tam, tam, time vampire if ever was one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And zero eighteen is out. A couple of fun things: new level up dialogue. Initial AI framework has been implemented, and there's now a spell buying window. Here's one of the catches, though. A lot of people there's have downloaded that and played with it. You need the original um, content from Open More Win. You can't buy that on Google good old games just yet or oh, maybe not ever but you can still pick it up on eBay and once you have that together 
you can definitely go to linuxgamecast.com and look in our how-to section. I did a whole guide for getting that critter up and running. It's not really playable yet. But, man, but it's getting there. It's mesmerizing, I mean, stupefying uh, the, what they're doing, reverse engineering it. I, You know what? This is a trend I've been seeing, and I like it. I like it a lot. GemRB did that with the Infinity Engine. That's great. I can play Planescape Torment on my laptop. I can play Planescape Torment on my tablet. That's what I find amazing. Hmm. That's awesome, man. Fun game. Definitely check that out. That is at openmorewin.org. Openmw.org. Openmw.org. And Boo. this one... I can't decide if this guy's a troll or if this is link bait. It's called Linux users will pay full price for Steam games. Now, if you had to bet, would uh, just well, yes, that's, that's like a, that's a factual statement. Linux users will pay full price for Steam games. What? Well, um, how do you know that? Is there any way to prove it? Look at humble sales. Look at the fact that usually for paid Linux software, people pay for it. If it's worth it. But wouldn't somebody writing an article have checked into that? Oh, this guy. This guy is a bit of a a, 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 spe a particular individual. I'll say that. And to quote, well, Linux users who have been used to getting things free of charge in the past pay $60 for a game. Now, this is something I want to come up. I own, uh, might have been just like that much before your time. Loki Games was the original. Mm -hmm. um, I own every title they made. I made it a point to buy every single thing. And as you just pointed out, on Humble Bundles, we pay more. Yeah. So if you had to come down on the side of link bait, trolling, or just Stupidity. I, I think it's link bait. I, I'm thinking it's link bait because he did this job. We are now at. Um, no, we're we're talking Pedia. about it. I'm on talking about our it. little podcast here, telling talking about it. People are going to go read it. We shouldn't uh, talk about it. We yeah. should let it drift away into obscurity, into the uh, fogs and sands of time. The fogs and sands of time. Now that, that's kind of fancy. Yes, mm. it'll go through the fog and then the sand. Fog and sand. Yes. So can I ask you a question? Ask what? Where's Vessel? War Vessel? War Vessel. I don't know. I don't know. War Vessel. War. Now, if you remember Vessel, it was part of Humble Indie Bundle 6. Is that right? 6. Yeah, and it's... Still not out yet. Uh, updates about what's going on. They gave it to another company to board, which I kind of want to talk about for a minute. Do you think you should talk be with. able to get in the Humble Indie Bundle without a working port, Jordan? You know what? If they have one version released and they want to get exposure, on the one hand, having it on the Humble Bundle gets it some great exposure. But on the other hand, come on, you need to have a deliverable. I mean, people are actually paying money for this. You that that's kind of the deal with 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 buying software on Linux is yes, there is free software for Linux, and we accept the fact that it may not be final version. But when we pay money, we expect a working product. Man, that that's absolutely true, and. You know, I can live with the mono ports. I can live with the flash games. Didn't like that one game wrapped in wine, man. Let's check with the judge on this. The judge. Where are we at? Where are Linux? I gotta go through the notes here. Didn't want to load. You do. Yeah. Unprepared so. Ven is unprepared. Oh, I'm terribly prepared. Let's see. So this is on, um, I should minute mention, uh, one of my favorite subreddits, Linux underscore gaming. And mm -hmm. it's the post vessel information search. And you can see the guy working on it, or the guys. 
Here's a screenshot of it actually running on Linux, which is good. Mm -hmm. There's a couple things that need to be implemented, fine-tuned in the render Mac works. S, da, 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 don't care about that. Um, input's basically done. Engine seems happy. And the ports are real, and we can be assured of that. Now, that does um, warm my... Um, it warms the cockles. cockles of your heart. Yes. And it'd be nice to actually see it come out. Yes, it would. Yeah, I wouldn't take a bet on when we'll see it, but... Yes, yeah, well, when Steam for Linux gets released. Well, you know the Humble Indie Bundle released a new bundle today. Yes, they did. That was actually... I, I wasn't expecting that. Ebooks. That one caught me off of guard. I believe my direct response was, what? W -A it's not a bad idea. I mean, I mean, they they did it with music a while ago, didn't they? I think they did the audio bundle. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, it's good for them trying out new things. I hope it goes well for them. Uh, my only issue was, and it's not really an issue. It's my own excitement factor when I saw a little email pop up on the tablet yeah, from a. From Humble, and you're like, and it's a Humble bundle. It's like another one. Yes, All right, books. Hmm. Because, like most people, I identify the Humble Indie bundle with, oh, I don't know if I'm a betting man. Games. Well, it's good. That is that a fair statement? The Humble guys. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I just said, is that a fair statement that you? I mean, it's Humble Bundle. It's games. yeah. I, I I I was caught off guard, definitely, but I don't think it's a bad thing. I. I, I'm glad the Humble Indie Bundle is exploring other indie areas. Yeah. Though, thankfully, not indie rock. What's wrong that with would... indie rock? Eh, that's, a, that's a conversation for another time. But, 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 but. But, but, but. What, what, what? But, but, but. Gog. Gog? Oh, Gog. we almost skipped over that. We, what are they up to, man? Apparently, there, there, there's some news about a new platform they may or may not be supporting. And when we talk about GOG, what do we mean? Good old games. Good old games. And let's see. To add Linux support, question mark? Hmm. I don't know. Prob it's probably going to be Mac support, but, you know, we can cross our fingers and dream our dreamy dream. Oh, we can, but it could be Linux support. But this is from UbuntuVibes.com, and they're announcing support for a quote-unquote new mystery operating system in a live stream it's event BIOS. on October 18th. It's like either BIOS or like Dragonfly BSD. <sighs> or, or, or maybe even Haiku. I think it's Minix. Definitely Minix. You know, it's been getting a lot more traction lately. It has. Mm. It's true. I'm gonna go. No, you know what? You know what? HPUX is sorely lacking in the games department. Well, if you're gonna say HPUX, I think maybe we need to start having a little bit more love for AIX. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Or especially the DEC Alpha version of Windows NT. Sorely oh, yeah. forgotten. Yep. Not a lot of good games coming for that. You know what? I, I heard. I heard there's like a big resurgence for Berkeley Unix. Mm. I Back think you just nailed it. Tapes. That's it. Call them on it. Don't bet money against Jordan. That is goodoldgames.com. That's their big release right there, Berkeley. Mm -hmm. I would not bet against that. If I were a betting man. If I was a betting man, thank you. But we do have one last, last little bit to cover. Last little bit. And it, that's it introducing... Pronunciation, yes. Return to Castle Wolfenstein. 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 There, There is no W sound, it's Wolfenstein. Coop. Wolfenstein. Everybody forgets the Stein. Stein. The Stein is also important, but the Wolf. The Wolf is key. It's Wolfenstein. Is good. But check das this good. out, man. These guys have been working uh, for quite some time, over a year, to make this playable. This is, let's see if I can pull up a screenshot, cooperative play for 
Return the Careful Wolfenstein. 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 Um, it's fun to say. It's here's fun one. to play. Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, it even makes its own gravy, man. Well, twice. Yeah. Couldn't replicate it that. It slices, sort of it dices, it performs all your kitchen household needs. Maybe it even Julianne's fries. Hmm? Oh, even Julianne's. Ah, now that's a tricky one. Awesome game. Definitely check this out. Another catch. Um, you're going to need the original pack files from Return to Castle Wolfenstein. It's neat. The only downside is no one's playing it. Works That's out of the box, game. though. Out of the box. And even if you were just looking for an updated modern way to play Castle Wolfenstein, this works. Mm -hmm. No need for anything. 32-bit, 64-bit. It's all available. Gotta uh, love these engine rewrites. No, man. Uh, seriously, uh, for this, and this is the, two this years is a of work, terrific trend. I love it. Three game types: um, co-op, battle, speed run, new death screams. That's a very important thing. And um, to taunt you when you screw up, you oh, interface. Yeah. So I'm kind of dying to get a chance to. You know what? I might join you for some multiplayer Wolfenstein. I think we can make that happen. We might even record it. If we could only have a Linux site that cast games. Hmm. Oh, that would never happen. That's, that's it, crazy talk. That's crazy talk. Yeah, pay no attention to this man. Wait, that's... Me. Pay that no dude. attention to the man, by the way. This man. Yeah. yeah. That guy. Yeah. Right there. That guy. But it's cool, man, because you see that's at Linux Gamecast, and that's where we're at. Every week. It's so unfortunate, but we keep coming back. You keep dragging me back. Well, I, I didn't tell you about the um hardware catastrophe we had yesterday, did I? Hard, hardware catastrophe? Yes. It, tell me. Do tell. Oh, I'm sure this will excite you. Now, normally, excite and arouse. Um, roughly one day late. With recording Linux game cast this day we were too. You'll notice this will be coming out on Wednesday. But I had the, the first day. port of um USB hub, the actual header that runs into the box, just tits up. Gone. And I've never had that happen. Um have you ever had that happen? I have. I've seen that happen. Keep in mind I work at like a college, so I, I, I have to fix busted systems all the time, and we are very prone to power surges, so I, I, I've seen that enough times to not be surprised by it. Well, I did get to go to that extortion racket known as um, Best Buy, and buy a little four-port USB hub for, I think, 15 American dollars. American. In America. Yeah, well, that should have been the four-dollar part, but that's what we ended up with. But before we close out, man, um, LinuxGameCast.com. Have you checked that site out? Well, I kind of have to, don't I? I don't know. You you keep saying that it's rubbish. Oh, I never said it was rubbish. I said it was refuse. Oh, ref um, hmm. That's that politeness kicking in. Well, on that refuse, you can find us. Check this out under our little podcast area. We have iTunes, MP3, iTunes Video, Audio MP3, Video SD, and HD RSS feeds for your podcatching device for the internets at your convenience. For the inner tubes. For the inner tubes, our category sections, we got news, how-tos, Android how-tos, which needs to be updated some old game footage, and you can always find us at Linux Gamecast Weekly. Just good stuff at LinuxGameCast.com. Good stuff. You know, we do our best, and whatever the hell else we come up with. And you can always find um, this gentleman right here, Jordan C., hey. at the Burning Fool on the Twitter Nets, the Twitterverse, the thingy with the tweets and the bird wings. And this guy is always located at Venstone. Venstone. At Venstone. Linux at Gamecast. Venstone. But you, at. See, you, see, you see what I did there? 
You've hurt my brain is what you did there, man. I, I get a little blood coming out of my nose. Ah. I know. That was good. Yeah, don't don't use complex things on me. I'm a very simple man. I'm not a clever You man. are. You're not a clever man. No, not a clever man. Now that explains Ask the ruler of the twelfth plane of torment. Yes. So that's it for tonight, guys. Um, check us out. What we just said. Um, you can shoot us an email. Show at linuxgamecast.com. Vin at linuxgamecast.com. Or just Jordan at linuxgamecast.com. Send us all emails for whatever reason. And maybe, Except for death threats. Please don't send us death threats. Or at least limit that to two a week. Okay. One a week, yeah. All right, one a week for Jordan. I can take two. And All stick right. around for our after show. So, um, I hear you watch this uh, children's cartoon called South Park. Oh, yes, I did. And I learned a great deal about a great man. His name is James. James Cameron. What does James, James Cameron do, man? James Cameron does what James Cameron does. Not for James Cameron. James Cameron does what James Cameron does because James Cameron is James Cameron. I admit I really didn't want to like that, but the more I hear you um, reiterate that little quote, the more I love it. But James it's, Cameron it's did set terrific. the bar, right? It did. It did, did raise the bar. And wasn't it like, off to the Avatar 2 set or something like that? Yeah. I was watching that with my friend, and he's like, oh, man, they're making a second one? I'm like, yeah, you didn't know this? Like he was fucking gonna, course like, they're making a second series one. Of movies. Yeah. It's a, and they're all going to suck. That movie printed cash, man. Of course they're going to make an open. Uh, one thing I didn't know about was Honey Boo Boo. I, Honey I, knew, Boo -Boo. I knew it existed, but I didn't. Yes. I, you know what? I always thought Honey Boo Boo was the mom. That shows how much I know. Yeah. I that didn't know it was the kid. I care about that. Hmm. But, um, yeah, I did like where it devolved into skeddy wrestling, I believe. Skeddy wrestling. It's hard to go wrong with skeddy wrestling. No, with it's uh, almost Michelle as good Obama as Jello dictating. Jello bondage. Jello bondage. Al almost. Almost as good as Jello bondage. Not quite. Not quite. But a close second. But, yeah, raising the bar higher, and immediately the next day after that episode, ABC has decided they're going to start airing celebrity high diving. Celebrity high diving. Yes, like off of a waterboard. Ow. Yeah. I'm glad I don't watch TV anymore. Cameron, you should have raised it just... A little bit higher. I don't think James Cameron lived up to James Cameron's expectations of James Cameron. Uh, who was the guy in the episode? Uh, the guy who was singing. He's like, no one will hire me if you raise the bar. Randy Newman. Randy Newman. Randy Newman. And every time <laughs> I try to do a Randy Newman impression, it comes out as a Lou Ferrigno impression. And that's just not polite. Lou Ferrigno's a good guy. Yeah, you shouldn't insult Lou Ferrigno like that. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I can see exactly how that could happen, though. Yes. Very they both easy. have a very peculiar way of speaking. Yeah, it's called a fucking lisp. Dude. Yes. But nothing fun. Have you still um, got any new issues? I think uh, with the Doctor Who, I was really ticked off this week coming home going, mm, Doctor Who, then going, oh, no, 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 no. BBC's taking... Yeah, the I, mid winter I, I did, break for no apparent reason. I did the same thing. Yesterday was Turkey Day in Canada. Oh yeah, man! How I, did that go? That went about as well as Turkey Day usually goes for me. Is there like uh, a uh, just regular talk Turkey Day? Yeah. The, there, there, there is no Turkey Day in the Spung household. Y you don't get any gefilte fish or gefilte fish. Oh my god, I hate gefilte fish. That sounds like something from you know. Peter. You know. You know what it is. It's like ground fish. It's fish loaf. <laughs> it's horrible. I just my brain. I want really to cry every time I see it. Fish loaf. But, but to get back to my original point, 
on Turkey Day, I said, you know what? I'm going to watch some Doctor Who. And as I went to go to my sources to watch Doctor Who, I realized, oh, wait, I got to wait till December. Uh, that sucks. Because fuck you, that's why. Because fuck you, that's why. Yeah. It was nice of them to protect us from splitting mid-series. Good on you, BBC. We feel more protected. But new shows are starting, so there should be what to watch. Well, you know something that came back, which I know you don't watch, but Fringe is back. I want to watch Fringe. I just can't find the time to watch Fringe. That's a hard one to get caught up on, too. I mean, that's not something... It you... is. I, I really like the first season. I just... Nip. And I started getting into the second season. But yeah. I was watching that primarily with my roommates. And when I moved away from that house, I kind of just stopped watching it. Right on. That's completely understandable. It is. Save it for the retirement home or the in asylum. That's what I'm waiting for. All right. I, you know what? I'm going to save it for the bunker. I think that's the best bet. Yeah. With the canned beaver. With the can can beaver. No, you got to keep those beavers out of there. They'll tear you to shreds. They're still at the door. Well, that's why you put them in a can. I mean, it's not like having canned ants, because you definitely want canned ants. Better shelf life. Can. Fresh ants, I know everyone wants, but canned ants, that's what a spot is, man. Yes, the trick is getting the ravenous beavers into the can. That is easier said than done. Ants. Ants. Ants and cans. Anyway, this has been a little bit of an after show. We just BS, man. I have no clue what we're talking about. No, nope, we're just doing our thing that we do. A little bit of extra content to kind of pad out that podcast to make it look like it's longer than it really is. I so, did. oh. Those of you who who are sitting here still, I feel bad for you. Go. Go and do something. Cure cancer. Bad. Like, perfect stem cell research. You should feel horrible for them. Not bad. I do. We are just wasting their lives. But that's almost, what we do every it's night. It's almost like a sick thrill. Not really still, on the sick that, thrill part. I mean, it is kind of a sick thrill. It's like, you are wasting your life listening to me. And it's fantastic. We get to see the numbers add up every week and every week. Every week. I get to slowly steal more people's lives. <laughs> it's but brilliant. I love it. I just need to find a way to weaponize it. Vin Stone with a TARDIS and here comes Jordan with a screwdriver. And that's oh, it yeah. for Linux Gamecast Weekly. <laughs>